I've worked with him many times over the years, and he's a total pro. I haven't heard the guy's name in 20, 25 years. Unbelievable. He's working now. Maybe. I hear he's, uh, well, he's definitely one of a kind. Where am I going to find a guy that does what this guy does? Right. right. So I call the producer I used to work with. Right. Turns out Abercrombie is still working. What can I say about James Abercrombie that hasn't already been said? He's the best. This is actually my first time working with James. Kind of exciting. A lot of times we bring a talent, get him in the booth, they try a few things, see what works. Not James. He knows what he wants, knows how to dig for it, and then all of a sudden, it's magic. He moved from LA to New York a couple of years ago, and here he is. Unbelievable. James Abercrombie. Wow. That's who's coming. But this session, you so All right, everybody, uh, everybody settle. JD looks like he's ready to go. Okay, uh, let's try one, Mr. Abercrombie. Take one, rolling, whenever you're ready. <laughs> awesome, James, awesome. Uh, let me play that back. Can we roll one more? I wasn't feeling that. Fart Foley work is a dying art, and James Abercrombie is the last of the true masters, fartists as they're known in the industry. Back in the 80s, a lot of studios were going for a more synthetic sound, cartoonish, you know, not very authentic. But I mean, it was the 80s, you know? Nobody cared if Theo Huxtable's farts sounded like somebody stuck a leaf blower in a pile of mashed potatoes. <laughs> I'm glad it's finally all coming back full circle now. You work with serious people. Sean Penn, he doesn't want his farts to sound like something a high school girl might cut at the prom. Oh, gnarly! <sighs> James, he has sort of a sixth sense for these things. He farts and you feel pain, nuance, inner turmoil. <laughs> Nailed it. It's cool having someone as esteemed as Mr. Abercrombie here at the facility. But I mean, he's a method guy, which most of us aren't used to. He's very particular. I asked for sauteed. This is boiled. What am I farting for? Fraggle Rock? Captain Caveman and the fucking Teen Angels? Do you think Christopher Nolan can't tell the difference between sauteed and boiled sauerkraut farts? I'm sorry, Mr. Abercrombie. Don't be sorry, dear. Be better. Be better than that. Back in the heyday, there were a few guys who came close to J.A., but they burnt out too much, too fast. I remember hearing a story about a fartist in L.A. being rushed to the hospital after farting six hours for a Starsky and Hutch episode. I mean, Paul Michael Glazer put this guy through absolute hell. By the time he got to Cedar sinai his asshole looked like a mason jar. He never worked again. They called in James the next day, nailed it in one take. Boom. Somebody put a rat in my cold cuts. Hey, how come I don't hear about these things before the bombs go off? You watch James fart, and all I can think of is what it must have been like to watch Da Vinci paint. Just, sorry. Sorry, I'm just getting emotional. Okay, James, Russell Crowe just found out that the oysters Dame Judi Dench gave him were tainted. Scene one. Take one. I am rolling whenever you're ready. <laughs> That's why we saute the sauerkraut, boys and girls. Awesome, James. That was awesome. Let me play that back. Fine. Can I get some room temperature water in the booth and perhaps a baby wipe? James Abercrombie is one of the greats, a legend. Rembrandt? Michelangelo? Abercrombie. I don't know how he doesn't shit his pants. I don't know how else to say it. When James Abercrombie shows up for work, there's electricity in the air. And farts. Really, really great farts. Heidi Sulkin has a job full of those. Come on. I don't know, Charlie Brown. 
I don't care. So, am I gonna get to first base? 